German lawmakers want to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine. German lawmakers from both the ruling coalition and the opposition support the idea of NATO imposing a no-fly zone over western Ukraine amid the conflict with Russia, Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung has reported. For its article, the paper asked members of parliament about the proposal, earlier floated by the defense minister's chief of staff, Nico Lang, who suggested that Russian missiles and drones targeting Ukrainian energy infrastructure and military installations could be shot down from the territory of neighboring Poland and Romania. According to Lang, this would lead to the creation of a 70-kilometer wide safe zone on the border between the EU and Ukraine, while also allowing Kiev to redeploy its own air defense systems, which are in short supply from the west of the country to the front line. Defending the airspace over Ukraine from Poland and Romania should not be ruled out in the long term. Anton Hofrita, a member of parliament for the Green Party, which is part of the German coalition, told Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. However, such a move is not up for debate at the moment, as the current priority for the West is to supply Ukraine with significantly more arms and ammunition, he stressed. Markus Faber from the Free Democratic Party, also in the ruling coalition, agreed that the airspace over the Ukrainian border regions could be protected by air defenses on NATO territory. According to Faber, this would only be possible if the West can secure enough ammunition for the air defense systems. A lawmaker for the opposition Christian Democratic Union, Roderich Kaiswetter, also said Kiev's Western backers could shoot down Russian drones over Western Ukraine. This would relieve the Ukrainian air defense and enable it to protect the front, he explained. Kaiswetter recalled how the US, UK and France assisted Israel with countering a large-scale bombardment by Iran in April, saying it showed that countries can provide such help to their allies without actually becoming a party to the conflict. Russia sent African mercenaries to storm on Kharkiv. The African mercenary corps was involved in the offensive on the Kharkiv region. As reported by the partisan movement Atesh, with reference to sources in the headquarters of the 44th Army Corps of the Russian Federation, Russia will use the African Corps in the offensive on the Kharkiv region. They are already suffering huge losses. The mercenaries were not ready for such a war. The Russians send them to the front lines knowing that most of them will not return from the assaults. We could see the entire preparation of this corps at the parade where 20 people performed a traditional military dance. Atesh writes, there is evidence that there are mercenaries in the Kharkiv region who have already fought in Mali and Libya. The movement notes that the Russians are recruiting and engaging mercenaries from poor countries in an attempt to compensate for their losses. All the countries of the world should think about whether it is worth interacting with such a country. The message reads, in the summer of 2023, it became known that residents of Nepal, who came to the Russian Federation to study, were being recruited for the war against Ukraine. The main argument for making such a decision is money. In December, Nepal issued an official statement calling on Moscow to stop recruiting its citizens for the war and to return the bodies of those who had already died. Earlier, Bloomberg reported that Russia, aiming to expand its influence in Africa, plans to create expeditionary forces consisting of 20,000 mercenaries, replacing the Wagner private military company's fighters, the African Corps, 
which controversially shares the name of Adolf Hitler's expeditionary force, aims to enlist new recruits and former Wagner fighters by mid-year to deploy to at least five Russia-friendly countries, Burkina Faso, Libya, Mali, the Central African Republic, and Niger, according to the group. Wagner was technically disbanded following Prigozhin's death, but remains active, the publication said.